it is a kind of like a rainy day out there. It has not been very nice. I have basically spent the entire day right here in Harvey the RV, where we are all set up at the computer, been playing some guitar, you know, working on new songs, uh, tweaking other songs, whatnot. Tim Man's been going most of the day here. Well, he has been going. Just not always a roaring fire, but he's always had some heat coming from him. Over here, we're getting ready to think about dinner. And don't ask me even what I'm thinking about because I haven't thought about it. But we're getting ready to think about it. Outside, the birds are busy. The robins are looking for their worms. What'd you find, buddy? Oh, I see him gulp that down. I'm glad I'm not a robin, man. I would not want to eat worms. All right, good morning, guys. We're getting a little snow out here. It's still really early. Sun's not quite up yet, but we're getting... snow's falling. Not much, but maybe, I can't tell, maybe an inch, a little bit more. Well, we are up and at them in here, as you can see. I just don't can't sleep pretty much past 4 o'clock in the morning. I usually wait until 4.30 to get up, you know, 4.35, no later than 5. That's quarter to 6 right now, and I've been up for a while. The Tim Man's been roaring, keeping us warm here. You want to say good morning, Tim? He's got a mouthful right now. Yep, I know. You're doing a good job, buddy. Thank you. We appreciate it here. All right, guys. We'll check back in a bit. Oh, I'm going to uh, Little Achievers today. In a few hours. And uh, hopefully I'll look a little bit better than I do right now. Yeah, this is called... Uh, this is called Morning Jack. Oh. Couple pairs of socks hanging there. You know, life in Harvey. Life in Harvey the RV. I'm gonna get a <laughs> take two. Maybe <laughs> begin it. All right, Jack. Can you say it? All right. Let's see if we can get a better look outside now because it's a little lighter. Here we go. Sounds like spring. Looks like winter. I'm gonna tell you what, I'm gonna enjoy this because I know that I won't be seeing this again for another six, seven months, you know? Seriously, it just kind of ends, you know, one day. It's gone. Not really funny, but when I was walking out of here before, couple minutes ago or probably half an hour ago and I had popped my head out the door here and when I turned around I came in quickly and I banged my head right on this my uh, top of my head you know right up here man and it freaking hurts too a little bit you know beautiful out guys it really is i mean i know it's snowy and we're probably all getting tired of snow but i just have this attitude at least this year i don't always feel like this but i guess in the last few years i have where i'm just like you know it's all gone within a week or so no big deal and this is a little fussy sometimes and uh, the other thing is, it's just, we haven't had that much snow this winter, so this is really nice. I'm not minding it at all. Very heavy, very wet. It is as wet as it can be. It's definitely an April snow, but beautiful, isn't it? So, got the truck warming up. We're going to get ourselves out of here once I get everything packed up here.
It is wintry out, huh guys? Wow. We're heading out into a winter snowstorm here. I gotta clear my glasses off here. I got water droplets all over them. Wow. Hopefully the roads are alright. It's not really accumulating too much, but you know, it is what it is. Alright guys, I prefer to take the back roads. Uh, I don't really want to be on the north way. That's our busy, like, throughway, And... I, I just don't want to do that. So I'm going to take a chance and hopefully the back roads have been plowed enough that it's not going to be a big deal or a mistake. Because really, I don't want to be on those other roads. Uh, this is one of those days where I'm like, why am I even going, you know? Such a wintry scene. It's so quiet. So this is the kids' uh, spring break week right here. And I think that it was more winter-like than their winter break. So here you are guys driving through small town America in early April 2024. I don't know when you're watching this. You may be watching it when I put it out. You may be watching it 10 years from now. But just know that on this date, which is April 4th, winter decided to visit again. So four wheel drive is on and four wheel drive, it means nothing, right? Uh, really, it doesn't mean you're gonna stay on the road. It helps, but it is not, uh, you know, the answer to all your worries. So I'm doing 35 in a 55, and I don't want to go any faster than that, that's for sure. I would say we're on an adventure, kids. This is definitely an adventure. It's fun. It's fun because it's a little stressful, and, you know, I'm a little bit out of my comfort zone here, but I'm just enjoying enjoying it you know I just hope that we're not like this is not like the beginning of like two feet of snow I just hope I get to work and they're like well they would have called me if I would like to think that they would call me well these people have to go to work because it's daycare and people have to go to work and they've got to drop the kids off so things have to go unless it's a complete shutdown. And this is not a complete shutdown. I don't know you guys. I don't know if I made a good decision here. I don't feel like the roads are, you know, not doable right now, so far. But as soon as I start sliding all over the place, watch me eat my words right now, um, we're gonna call it. You know, because it's not worth it. Oh, and of course, this road hasn't even been plowed. Well, Jack, you wanted to go have some fun out in the country. Here you go. Jack off the side of the road. He slid right off into a ditch and couldn't four wheel it out. Okay, guess what? I am the first one on this road. This has not been driven on yet. It's one thing to go down a road, you know, and say it's not plowed, you know, and you can see that someone else has been down it. But, uh, yeah. This has not even been plowed yet. I really don't know 
where the center of the road is. You know, it just looks, it's a whole different trip, you know, on a day like today. And again, the cool thing is that it could be, even by tomorrow, or within a day or so, another whole completely different trip, where everything is green. Now I'm going to have this guy behind me. I got a couple cars behind me, though, now. I'm not going fast though, so. All right guys, um, I guess I'm getting a little bit better at driving in this stuff, but. We almost had an accident there. What I didn't do though was, I didn't put my brakes on, you know? And I just rode it, and it was scary, but by not putting my brakes on at all, I was able to keep myself on the road. Just had to work the steering wheel a little bit. And it happened because I felt that I needed to go a little bit quicker because I had a car coming up behind me, you know? Well, we're not doing that anymore. Like right now. It's very, very... Very, very slippery. Very slippery. Well, this turned out to be an interesting journey, didn't it? Well, obviously what happens with me, because I'm not Steve McQueen, and I'm not any four-wheel driving guy, and, you know, I don't go out and do... Uh, wipeouts in the snow maybe I should practice though they say that's a good idea you know how to drive your car in the snow get yourself out in a parking lot and do your thing you know alright I feel like now I'm back to I'm going to be on roads that are much better traveled and up in front of us is uh, the great Saratoga Lake which there's not much to see right now. Yeah, these roads are a whole lot better. This is what we're going to keep on, kids. No more of the uh, backcountry driving. No. All right, I think we're going to stop at the family friendly stewards here and I don't know get a little coffee just chill out for a minute maybe you know what I'm saying 
I got plenty of time actually. It's like I'm an hour. I don't even have to be there for like 45 minutes. All right, guys. I am at Little Achievers, and uh, this doesn't look good. There's not a single car in the parking lot for this for this venue. Um, I wasn't told that we didn't have. I didn't have a gig this week, and I can't imagine they're closed. So I'm gonna go up to the door and see what's up. Mm. Interesting. Huh? All right, guys, guess what? <laughs> Little Achievers is not open today. I wasn't told. Huh, all right. I gotta tell you, I had that feeling too today. I'm like, should I call? Oh, man. All right, we have soft boiled eggs. I'm gonna sit right here and enjoy them. Uh, hey, you know what's good though, right? We got a good bunch of video. I almost hmm, almost wrecked the truck in the process or put it off the road, but uh, we definitely got some good footage. Which I'm always up for, you know, because sometimes content is not easy to come up with. Mm. All right, we're moving on. I got the rest of the day off and uh, the next three days, too. And then we get busy, busy again. I'm just thinking how I got up or got myself on the road extra early today to make sure I got to work on time and well I did the right thing as far as giving myself time I just could have given myself another week because I didn't need to be there today oh well it's all good as long as I can keep it on the road see that slushy stuff on the side man Dangerous. Slushy mess. Slushy, slushy mess. Messy, slushy. Oh, there's a homeless dude over there. I feel for those people on days such as this. I feel for them every day, you know. realize how good you got it when you see somebody out walking the streets like that, you know? There's so much that goes into, you know, having a functional life, you know, if you don't have one, you know? White out. Snowstorm. Big snowstorm here in the North Country on April 4th. I gotta go to the bathroom. I'm getting out of this truck. Alright guys, I just spent like an hour in, uh, probably more than that in Walmart. I basically just took my time going through the store. There was like, as many cars are as in this parking lot, there was hardly anybody in that store. As far as customers go. Good day to go there. And uh, I got myself an air fryer. I need something new to cook on. I'm going to give this a try. 
Well, I wouldn't say we got pounded, but we, we definitely got uh, we got some snow. We're back on the home turf now. And I think we probably got... <coughs> Excuse me. Woo. I'd say we got a good... A good three or four inches of heavy, heavy, wet snow. Hello, Harvey. How are you, buddy? We're going to be hanging out with you all day long. All right, guys. A lot going on here. Trying to get things organized. Got a new uh, garbage pail there. You know, various items here. I got a new floor mat for inside here, and the big the big purchase was the uh, the uh, air fryer. I'm excited about this six quart air fryer. Air fries, bakes, broils, reheats, defrosts, dehydrates, uh, fries, vegetables, chicken, fish. What could go wrong, huh? Sounds like it does a little bit of everything. I'll see. Where's the speakers for this thing? This looks like a stereo system. You know, the old stereo systems, you know? It seems like it should have a couple speakers coming off it. You know, detachable speakers. Crazy. Nope, this is an air fryer. It's got a nice big area in here to cook. I'm going to do... I read through the instructions, but you know... I'm going to YouTube this and watch a little bit on the Power XL and see what see what they have to say on YouTube and then we'll get to cooking here today at some point. And I've got the other stove right over here on the side here which I'm not crazy about having right there. We'll just have to think about where we're going to store things. Uh but for now, this is the uh setup. Oh guys, my door's falling apart. This really sucks. Look at this. It's just all kind of came out today. I'm not much of a handyman, you know, with this kind of thing. I'm gonna have to figure this out. We're gonna have to YouTube that one, do some door repair here. Or we're gonna need to get a new door probably. Might just be a better idea to get a new door. Find an old Toyota and take the door. I hope it's that easy. Well, we could probably fix this door up, though. Got a little bit of a dilemma here, guys. All of this was down underneath the stove. You know, that's a great area to store things. I'm really not using most of this. I got to sit here and think about this. I like that better. Yep, I just need that open space there too crowded so that's how we'll keep it you know if we want to use the we want to use the air fryer then we use the air fryer we'll leave the air fryer out because it's just a nicer thing to look at and if we want to use the uh two burner there it is easily accessible and like i said i took those extra pots and whatever or not pots but extra dishes and stuff and we stuck those Right behind the curtain, where nobody sees them. So much for winter out there, huh? I knew that snow would be gone probably by the end of the day. Mm -hmm. 